They're set and they're off and they go without to Claudia May as they hit racing over the uh, nine furlong trip and smartly away was Red Skip has got an early advantage towards the near side rail. Takes them along with Saving Grace, Casino Knight, Yellow Colours towards the outside. Bedfellow is well there, followed by Maybe I Won't. And then uh, just in behind the leaders, we have Suburbia in a pink cap and wrong way round to mid-division just behind Casino Knight. Grand Diamond held up uh, towards the back of the field in light blue colours with the cheek pieces, followed by Primo Way. And Marillos Proteris is the back marker as another well-supported runner, Red Skipper, cuts out the early pace. Lead by half a length from Bedfellow in second with a length back to Saving Grace in the red and the white on the outside, maybe I won't. Then Casino Knight and Social Rhythm and Suburbia followed in mid-division by Wrong Way Round as they start their swing left-handed out of the back straight with just over five to travel. It's Red Skipper who leads them back towards home by half a length from Bedfellow who travels strongly in second place. In third is Saving Grace with on the outside of Saving Grace, maybe I won't. Then Casino Night and Social Rhythm. Suburbia's now being driven along in the midfield. Grand Diamond still mid-division at this stage as they start the swing into the straight and they're coming inside the last four furlongs and still it's Red Skipper with Bedfellow for company on the outside. A length away, maybe I won't. These are followed then by Saving Grace, Social Rhythm trying to get through against the fence. Grand Diamond behind them with the big white face of Casino Night. Papa's Princess is trying to pick up from mid-division as they head down inside the last two furlongs and Red Skipper's fan reserves in front has been driven into a two-length lead from Saving Grace going into second name. Maybe I won't. Grand Diamond staying on with the cheek pieces but Red Skipper's got a good lead inside the final furlong. Four lengths clear of Saving Grace and the running on Grand Diamond. Red Skipper with the lead as they head well inside the last Grand Diamond though. He's conjuring up a good late run as they go towards line. Red Skipper from Grand Diamond. Red Skipper hangs on. Red Skipper beats Grand Diamond in second. Saving Grace was next and then close a Papa's Princess and they're running on Marillos Proteris. Red Skipper, the 11 to 4 well back second favourite, has seen off a Grand Diamond who was closing late on, was beaten again. We'll wrap all that up in a moment. Just a reminder that Claudia May was the horse that didn't go into the stalls. There will not be a rule for on this occasion, but Red Skipper, another well backed winner at air. So again, slight delay at air means we're pretty much on to market raising, and then of course we'll also probably have to give you a recording of that uh, race in France at the Prix Chloe. So the 320 is the Tom Halliday Memorial Condition and Jockeys Handicap Hurdle, race one in memory of Tom, who sadly of course lost his life at market raising, and a race that many riders will be particularly keen to win, particularly of course James, who rides Shock Tour Nation. Dark Side of the Moon, who was a gamble this morning, 6 to 1 into 2s, has drifted to the middle of those prices and been joined by Choctaw Nation at 4 to 1. Golden Jess for the informed Phil Kirby Yard, into 13 to 2. Sevens, Ben Madigan and Bold Policy. Tour Reguliere is, is 10 to 1, uh, along with Deadline, Seacliff and Tifoso, 14s, and Muntai, 25 to 1. Dark Side of the Moon, well back this morning, a drifter on track. And Richard has already made clear the reason why Choctaw Nation has a script to read. And on form, and on recent form particularly, he has every chance.